Hey guys, System here, and this is Sky Plus 4. Hope everyone is well and having a utterly amazing day. Let's go ahead and check out this pack. So, this is going to be a new pack we're playing. It is uh, Sky Plus 4, like I said. Made from the same pack dev as uh, Seopolis, which is pretty cool. I think that dev's name is Ben Ben Law. So, yeah, definitely someone who knows how to make a pack. Uh, I'm not going to be moving on, I guess, progressing through the rest of Seopolis, mostly because I just got into it too, too late, I guess. I didn't realize how many people had been playing that pack and how long they had been playing it. And uh, yeah, it was just played out by the time I got into it. But this pack here looks pretty awesome. It is a Skyblock. has the uh, Batania, I guess, Skyblock world type, which is pretty cool. We don't even have a tree on this world type. It's pretty cool. We have ourselves a book, some apples. Uh, thanks for downloading, I guess, a piece of paper here. I guess I could have kept that paper for crafting, but I'm just going to throw in the void. A one pro book, which is uh, pretty standard at this point. But you shift or right click with this thing, you can move where the uh, thing on the top of your screen is there. I think we used to call that JEI, but I guess it's one probe. Uh, anyway, we can put it right there. I'm going to keep it in the center because that's where I like it myself. But you can move it to any part of the screen you want. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of our inventory. You notice here, like I said, we're just in, uh, I guess on here, no tree, no nothing. We have our quest book. Now this quest book is uh, pretty well thought out. I've looked at it pretty quickly, looking at the progression and the way you have to go. It looks pretty cool. A lot of the uh, early resources are going to be not gotten through like sifting or anything like that. It's going to be through um, fluid transformation, like throwing things in liquids to get different kind of items out of it. So I thought that'd be pretty cool and a pretty unique kind of start here. So this one here, though, go up to here, go to our first quest. It says, thanks for downloading Sky Plus 4. I have to be alt mine is in the pack. So hit the button left of the one key, the tilt key, and uh, hold that down when you're breaking something or break all connected blocks. I would not do it on your dirt where you start. So that'd be kind of dangerous. Over here it says Skybox can be used to buy cool and rare items. There is a shop, so that is cool. Actually down here, earn Skybox. No, that isn't where you spend them. Where is it? Oh no, you don't spend them here. We have to make an item to be able to spend them. There's no shop here. It's actually a pneumatic craft item, I think. We have to make to be able to spend those. Haven't got to that yet. The quest will guide you through the mod pack. Some quests will give you items. Some will give you Skybox, so that is pretty cool. Also, if you have multiple quests and you want to claim them all at once, you can hit this button up here, which is cool. Also, there's another button here, emergency items. You kind of click on that. If you really want to cheat, you get yourself a free bucket of water. I'm not going to do that because it's not hard, and the brush is going to take us through that anyway. Anyway, so the first thing it wants us to do, get some pebbles. also wants us to get some living root. So the pebbles, this is a Batania world type. So basically, if we shift and right click on dirt or grass, we get pebbles. I actually have a macro for this because I have a, a mouse that has macros on it. So I can just program macros as I please. I think I have it set to like one every, uh, does this once every one millisecond or something like that. And I get tons of these really quick, which is awesome, which means I go ahead and craft these up and also get us cobblestone. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Awesome. Got ourselves some placement blocks. Now down here, we have these puppies. These are called living roots. These are from Batania. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and break those and get some of these puppies here, the living roots, once we get our first batch. A lot of the rewards, too, I've noticed, they're like random. You see they're going to get anywhere from 1 to 12. Looks like we got a good amount of them, so we already have enough of what we need. And we can actually just go right back up right now, kind of progress. But a lot of the rewards, they have like, just it's just random. It's kind of neat how it works, actually. I'm going to come down and clean this out later on. Oh, I almost jumped off, too. But anyway, go ahead and uh, just cover that up for right now. Kind of progress here. I want to hurry to the furnace and the wooden lamp just so if it hits nighttime, I can actually see and stuff. Uh, let's work on some wood here, I guess. So what we'll do, let's go ahead and grab four of these. Let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. Go ahead and pop that down. Uh, maybe do a ring around this as well, at least one layer, just so we can catch a little more of the uh, saplings and uh, the other doodads that are going to be dropping out of this. I guess it'd be stack. I was going to say stacks, sticks and apples. So something like that there. Uh, we don't have a tool yet. I'm going to have to leave that there for a second. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get ourselves an actual crafting station so I can make a tool. Uh, I have a macro here too. I should say, this is, I'm using torque right now. So if you hit the shift button, you'll torque up and down. You'll get the bone meal effect. I already know there's an issue. This here, the mana flash, it doesn't seem to work uh, the way it used to in other versions. It's supposed to control like how tall the tree grows. You know what I mean? But in, uh, I don't know if it's in the version of Minecraft or some mod that's going into a lot of packs. It makes it so the tree just doesn't grow. So you're actually better off just getting rid of it. And we also got gypped on saplings. But I want to go ahead and see if we can actually get a little bit more here. So if we get totally gypped, I'm going to have to go down again. Give me a couple saplings here. Did I get? I got two. So we're good enough to kind of progress here. Let's get that out of there. That looks good. Oh, we actually got three, man. 
We're just living life. Let's go ahead and uh, pop these out of here. That looks good. Go ahead and actually make a crafting table, just like that. We can operate this right away. This is the workbench from Cyclic. Uh, just holds an inventory unlike the vanilla crafting table. So pretty cool item. Let's go ahead and pop that over there. But basically I can put something like wood in there, go inside and it's still in there. It doesn't go back to my inventory. So let's go ahead and make some tools here. So maybe something like that there. Probably want a ax because uh, we'll be cutting down a fair amount of trees as well as a pick so I can fix my big giant uh, mistake over there. Let's go ahead and get you out of here. That was good. Maybe that as well. We could also go ahead and probably make a wand because I noticed there was a wand mod in here. Yeah, we got construction wand. I'm not sure if I know that one, but I know it now. And I just fell. So this is a good way to teach you. If you fall in this world, you don't have to worry about it too much. It's not that big a deal, but you are going to take damage. So you'll hit the ground. You'll take some damage. It'll kind of suck. And uh, yeah, I just uh, lost a lot of my life there. Uh, that is okay. <laughs> Failure is, uh, I guess, uh, we're not rewarded, but not punished in this pack. Anyway, some packs, I remember old packs, I'd be like just the end of the pack pretty much. Just like that, because no one wanted to go down the void to get their stuff. Anyway, that's good there. And uh, we're looking pretty good here. So let's look at our quest book again. So let's head over here. Let's get our tools lined up too. Maybe like that and uh, that right there. And that's cool. And check out where we're headed. So the next thing we want here is going to be some wood shears. So let's go ahead, grab two of them. Awesome. Going to have to be a little careful growing trees right now because I need to make sure I keep a sapling. So I'm going to do one batch like this right here, which is cool. Just to get us some excess saplings. So we're not going to be running out anytime soon. Then we'll do another batch here and then we'll grab the leaves off these ones, right? So maybe something like that. Sweet. And uh, do that one or two more times. <laughs> there you go. So got ourselves a good amount of leaves and a good amount of saplings. We should be in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and uh, see where we're at. Next thing he wants us to do is some wooden plates. So let's check them out. Wooden plate would be wooden plate right there. Now that's good. Looks like it is trap doors, not trap doors, pressure plates. <laughs> Go ahead and grab, I guess two of those. Let's do that there. Let's get that out of there. I want enough for two of these recipes. I want to keep some of that in logs too, because we'll need to make some charcoal at some point. So maybe we'll do this. That isn't the right recipe. That is it right there. And that's cool. And this is going to be used to actually make chests. I saw that. So let's go ahead and grab that there. We do that. Then we go ahead. There was another item we had to make first, actually, so we could make those easier. I think it was this here, the woodcutter. So we make one of these puppies. Looks like it's made like that. Which is pretty simple. Let's go ahead and do that. This here. Awesome. Then we should be able to pop that puppy down and make our life a little bit easier. And we should never have to make them the way we just made them. I think we just put the logs in. Now we go here and select them. And then, yeah, just grab them just like that. Now these things, like I said, could be used to make chests. So let's do this right here. Awesome. Got ourselves our first chest, which is pretty awesome. Let's just do that. Make ourselves a double. Drop some of the stuff off that we don't need. We actually need most of this right now. That's good. Drop that off. And then got to progress here. Let's do that. I guess we could just grab all those. Oh, this chest here too. Sometimes you get rewards in these chests here. Like every time you get a chest and a reward, check it if it has uh, MBT, da MBT data. Because if it does, you get yourself, uh, I guess, an actual reward there that you could open up and see what it is. And anyway, the next thing I want to get to is a wood furnace and a stove furnace. So let's go ahead and grab some furnaces. Just so when it hits the nighttime, I have something that I can do, right? I can be able to see in the dark. Plus, I'll be able to expand our island a little bit for us. So anyway, that's good there. That wooden furnace, it works like a regular furnace, but it can light on fire. So you don't really want to deal with that thing. So let's get that out of there. Looks like I just want some charcoal now. So let's go grab some charcoal. Let's do, oh, not that there. Let's do this. Maybe that and that. Awesome. Take a look at the book. Using furnaces can be used to turn charcoal, smelt the single item. It's going to give us the tiny charcoal, which is more efficient because it does one smelt per kind of item. Then it wants us to make some tiny torches, which are going to be, be just like that. That looks easy. Then it wants us to make wooden lamps. For whatever reason, the regular torches, uh, I don't know. Can you make them? Yeah, they're made totally different for whatever reason. They must be used in some recipe they want to lock down or something. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and uh, convert this here. That's cool. It's getting on the nighttime, so this is just about right anyway. So let's make it like two recipes. That's good. Go ahead and make some of those lamps there. So it was the wooden lamp, right? So go ahead and grab recipe them. Awesome. We got ourselves light. Awesome. We got ourselves a chest as a reward. So we do have one that's going to give us uh, some kind of items here. But before we do that, let's get some light here. Let's just throw that into the corners. Just like so. Awesome. And then I want to see what's in that chest, right? So it's right here. 
So it looks like we got ourselves a pretty good reward chest. We got some bone meal, some rotten flesh, some sky blocks, uh, sky bucks, I should say, some string, and some other stuff. So that is actually all useful stuff, and I'm pretty pumped for. Anything else we could jump to right away, or should I just go build out some? Actually, I'm going to do probably this one down here. I want to be able to make dirt, so I'm going to do that during the nighttime as well. So I think it was dirt mulch, right? So we go to dirt mulch. This is the recipe we're looking at. Not dirty. It's dirt mulch. There it is there. It wants leaves and mossy pebbles. And uh, we'll kind of have to see the mossy pebbles because I kind of forget here. So you need to take a pebble and leaves, throw that in the water, and you get a mossy pebble. Now we need to hunt down our water because uh, it's in this island here. I just can't remember which side it's on. Oh, did I put it on this side? That's kind of awkward. It might be right here. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> it's under one of these grass blocks. Not that one. There it is, right there. So there's our water block that we need to kind of move in time, right? I'm going to go ahead and put down, not that, right there, some blocks here, just to make it so the water is not flowing out, because we need to do some liquid crafting, right? And uh, do some fluid transformation. So we'll just go ahead and grab dirt, pop that there, probably grab like half a stack. That's good. This as well. And that should turn into those mossy pebbles in a second. Oh, did I pick up the pebbles? I may have. Let's go ahead and uh, try that again. There you go. Now it started. There you go. Went ahead and finished off the rest. Got ourselves some of those pebbles there. And then we already have leaves. So what we could do is go ahead and actually make the dirt mulch. Go ahead and make a good batch of that, which is pretty awesome and uh, is pretty cool. Now I'm pretty sure we make clay with this as well. So you actually check that out real quick. Head over to you. Where is it here? Yeah, you can put dirt mulch in there. Oh, you have a chance. Do you get two out of this? There's two ways of doing this, right? So you can take dirt mulch, put it in a cauldron. I think the cauldron's just made of wood too. So if I went to cauldron, let's check that out real quick. Just like so. Awesome. Oh, we can't fill this with water yet. Well, I guess you have to go ahead and make clay the, I guess, less efficient way first before you do this. So what I think you could do, let's go ahead and grab this. I want to get ourselves a bucket, right? So if I do this right here, cool. Awesome. Actually get uh, some of those clay balls, which is cool. Go ahead and uh, grab them, make ourselves some clay buckets. Do that there. We can just put that in there. That is the more efficient fuel, of course. Get one of these kind of filled up here. Once this thing is filled up, we can actually throw that bucket right in the water and just get a bucket of water, right? So I'll be able to move around our water source really easy, which is a pretty, pretty cool way of just doing it, right? So just like that, like that, and hopefully a second one. And then I'll just leave that water source down there for right now. Just in case I make a mistake. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and do you. That's good. Then we just cover that up like nothing happened, right? So that's cool. So I'll be able to move around the water source, and that was a plan. But the other thing I was looking at was this here. So I go ahead and grab dirt. And I can go ahead and grab dirt now, all willy-nilly, and didn't expand our area, which is awesome. And one more thing I saw I could do, and uh, I want to do it uh, before I kind of go ahead and expand our island, is probably use all these apples. Actually, I need to eat some of these. Let's go ahead and use this many right here grab that you can actually make ourselves a apple tree so i'm going to go ahead and uh, set that up i'm going to build out a little bit plant the apple tree and to be able to uh get apples from that that's from pam's harvest craft uh, it'll just grow apples on it that when they turn golden you can right click on them and then yeah just uh you know eat the apples and all that jazz so as soon as i decided to start uh expanding a platform which i did you can plainly see it's uh quite expanded right so i moved it out a little bit made it a little bit bigger gave us quite a bit more room but yeah, it started to rain. I don't have a bed yet, so I couldn't sleep through the night to get rid of the rain, and then it rained for an entire day, which gave me more time to work on this, I guess, but uh, it was a pain in the butt, but uh, that butt pain is done. I got this quest done, too. That's just from that reward chest. It actually gave us everything we need for it, but it says there are hostile mobs spawn around 30 blocks away from where you hang out, so that is pretty cool. We can actually go ahead and accept all these. Also, we may have another MBT chest right here, so let's go ahead and see what we get. In this one, it looks like we're going to get some of the uh, Pam's Harvest Grass Gardens, which is actually pretty cool. And another buck here, which is awesome. How are we doing on money? We're actually doing pretty good on money. Maybe we'll go ahead and uh, work on some of the money stuff right now and uh, get that done. So uh, where is that? I think it's this one right here, a vending machine. Basic starting shop. If you break it, you have to rebuild it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make one of those. Let's see here. It's just a crafting table and some cobblestone. So let's go ahead and grab that there. And probably this here. Go ahead and get this done. And uh, see what this is all about. So let's do that right there. That looks good. I guess we'll go ahead and use that. And then just wrap around this. 
and uh, we'll have to find a, I guess, semi-permanent spot, I guess, because, I mean, it's cheap, we'll end up making more, uh, but it says we can't move it pretty much. Um, why am I worrying about symmetry right now when this is all going to move, right? But in here, you can see we have a kind of marketplace here of stuff we can buy. I think some of the stuff we have to buy too. I see we can get a bed. So let's go ahead and grab a bed right now because I actually don't have access to a bed yet. We have uh, got a source of string. Now I'll be able to sleep through the night, which is uh, pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and grab that right there. Uh, wants us to get the solar cooker and also wants us to get the uh, air compressor, charging station, and Amazon tablet, which I think is going to open us up to a new market here. Buying these three items for the vending machine will allow you to access bigger and better shop. Pair our air compressor with portable material to charge the tablet in the charging station. Uh, this solar cooker is a furnace that works from the sun, so it's actually really useful as well. Do I have enough for everything? I do too. So let's actually go grab solar cooker, and then we'll grab the air compressor. Go ahead and grab the charging station and the actual tablet. So that is cool there. Now this tablet's going to take a couple minutes probably to charge up, so let's get it down first. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, it probably won't take that long. Uh, I think we need to pump the... I think it goes like this, right? This goes here, and we need this one facing this way. Yeah, I think this is the side where kind of like the coal goes in, and that connects to this and charges things. So what we do with this thing, I guess, is uh, grab some fuel. Do I have actually any actual charcoal? I don't. We should probably go make some of that. Uh, really quickly. Let's go ahead and uh, do this here. Let's actually set up our solar cooker too while we're at it. Uh, let's head over to here, I suppose. We'll just put it like right here for right now. Like I said, everything's going to move. Go ahead and grab you. That looks good. Solar cooker reward here is going to be your reflectors. I'm just going to make this thing go a little bit faster. So what you do with this puppy is kind of just pump it down. And uh, you need these, uh, I guess these solar, um, I guess they're just called reflectors, aiming at the chest, just like that. And this here. There you go. And uh, you can see there it has sun symbol because, well, it's sunny out. If I put this in here, it should work at a good pace as long as the sun is out. If the sun's not out, it will not work. So that is actually pretty neat. What did I do with the rest of my wood, man? I thought I had more wood. Oh, there it is right there. Let's go ahead and grab a few more coal. <laughs> or I should say charcoal. Let's do that. Probably need one of these right now. Now, in this thing, it has a slot here. You want to put this right here. You're going to want to be careful with this thing. This thing has, it works on pressure, right? And if it gets too much pressure in it, it's going to explode. You see this over here? And it actually blows up way before this. There's up safety upgrades. We can put it in uh, into it, I guess, later. But for right now, all I'm going to do pretty much is put uh, one at a time, I guess. And then it's going to slowly build up pressure. You notice here there's a little bar. It's got all the pressure moving into it. It balances the pressure in between, I guess, the piping and the machines between it and itself. So it'll get the bar... You see right there, it says uh, pressure, and it's rated by a bar rating, which is what, uh, I guess, pressure is rated by. And uh, it kind of evens it out between two machines. Now, like I said, if you get too much bar in here, this thing will explode. So, anyway, this should be enough to actually power it. I just want to look at it real quick and see what's in here. Now, a whole lot of stuff. We actually have a giant market in this one. And this probably changes da daily, because that's how it works by default, just with the mod, right? We'll kind of see how it works here. It's kind of curious what's in here. I haven't really looked at all. Efficiency 3. That's cool. It's compounds. Some of the great materials. Some of the stuff from the mod itself. I'm breaking 3. All kinds of stuff in here, actually. You can buy bones. <laughs> anyway, probably won't be buying those anytime soon. And uh, I'm not really sure. Well, that looks gonna... Um, that's something from the mod there. Yeah, fluid duplication token. That'll be something we need later on. So that's going to be like our marketplace. So we want to spend our box, our excess box. We use a sky box, mostly in this. This one I don't think it's going to be used very much. I mean, potatoes maybe. Um, outside of that, maybe some dirt mulch if I'm really lazy. But uh, the main one's going to be that for the pack. So that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this. We didn't grab our dollar. Let's see where we're at. It actually wants us to get, the, get that fluid duplication token. But uh, I can't afford it right now. Uh, killing different mods will give you... Skybox. So apparently when we set up a mob farm, we'll actually be able to get some money. So that's cool. I wonder if it's just like any mob or certain ones based on a quest line. I guess we'll figure that out in time. Anyway, next thing we should get into is the Strider base. That's going to get us some of the materials. We need to be able to get into great. Once let's get a wooden hopper here. Let's go ahead and uh, hunt some stuff down. Oh, uh, need that. There we go. Let's go ahead and check out a hopper. It's just like a regular hopper, except for more limited. <laughs> so anyway, that's a thing. 
And I probably want a couple of these actually. So what else do we need here? Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of that. Go ahead and get this cut down into these things here, the wood plates. That's good. Go ahead and grab ourselves a chest or two. I guess we'll do it this way, right? Uh, yeah, right there. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. And then probably two more hoppers. I figure about three of these strainers start be pretty good because we'll probably want to set up one for fish and stuff as well. Uh, we need some wood bars. Let's go ahead and grab that. Awesome. And then we go ahead and grab the actual strainers and see what we're missing. Uh, one more chest here. We have everything? We do. Let's go ahead and get that done. And we'll get these puppies set up and then have a new source of resources. It helps if I actually take the chest. <laughs> let's do that. There you go. So we're good. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and actually throw these in here. Do that. Oh, one thing I noticed too, uh, I guess I didn't uh, tell you guys either. If you go into your inventory here, you have this button down here. And actually one of the first quests told you this too. Uh, I think it was the same one that told you about Bay Bide. Told you there's a tips button down here. So if you want to learn about water, that's how I knew about the water. You threw the buckets in the water, drop buckets in the water, fill them up. And then I guess the, it tells you about the cobblestone gens. Uh, it tells you about the solar cooker. Uh, with generate stone, stuff like that. This dive here, unsure about something in here. Uh, tokens allow you to enter different dimensions. I don't know what that's about. Something to do with Ned, apparently. But anyway, I think that's just for the three different dimensions. Just gives you tips, and I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, the rats mod is in here, too, so we'll have to get into garbage at some point. And did the assembler from Pneumatic Rap. Just thought it was pretty neat that it was there. It was uh, pretty and useful and a good way of doing things, actually. And you have to hit back. That's weird how you have to do that. Escape was going back to the last one that uh, I was at. Anyway, but let's go ahead and actually set up these, I guess, these straighters here. Uh, we'll want to set them up down here somewhere. Let's do... We'll want it like too wide, won't we? Let's do something like this. Like this here. There you go. I don't want to source all this. I need to be a little careful how I do it, I guess. I guess we'll do something like that there. Then we'll do this here, that there. Do I want this one more down? I forget how this works. No, this is the right level right here. So we do that, that. No, that has to go one more down. I'm going to lose my blocks. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do this here. This is how I made this cobblestone brick too. It's just cobblestone in a two by two. It's pretty awesome. But I'm gonna put a floor in this now because I'm gonna totally dork this or derp this, I should say, and uh, lose all our strainers. And I'd rather not because they are a little bit the craft at this point. Uh, you can go away though. Get rid of you. Let's go ahead and uh, pop you here and then fix our mistakes. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then let's get you out of here. We'll put all three of them here. Let's do this. And yeah, Strader is just a mod that gives you a way of getting resources pretty much from nothing, right? Just water, <laughs> which is pretty cool. That's good there. And then we should be able to grab some water. Is this whole thing going to source if I do this, like the whole thing? No, I need the running water. Running water makes it more efficient. So if we have running water on top of them, and then we need to put some uh, strainers in here. So that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check this out here. Let's see here, I grab that. That's talking to tell me about the strainer here some of those wooden bars so the wood bars should be that right there go ahead grab that and that now we got some free strainers didn't we was that here oh no that was in my test world i got some of the straighters i guess the other straighter this one here for free i thought it was in this world but it's not we'll have to finally use our cauldron here in a second let's go ahead and uh get these ones in here though we'll have two of these going so these two will be producing us they only work on a certain number of uses too so 128 on these then you have to replace them. But uh, what they'll do, if you go to them and uh, hit use on them, you will see the drop list. It's pretty limited. It's going to be stuff like flint, sticks, pebbles, uh, diorite, uh, granite, and uh, andesite. So stuff to get us pretty much into great, I think is the whole point of that. Anyway, how do we actually make the uh, vines here? Let's see how that works. Let's do that. So we need mossy cobblestone, some mossy pebbles. So do I have any more of those pebbles kicking about? I do. So we just go ahead and grab this. Finally give us a reason to use the cauldron. Although the cauldron now can make us clay, it just uh, it doubles up. We get twice as much out of it. I actually made a couple, uh, I guess, while I was working on my little area here. Let's go ahead and uh, pop that in there. So if I take the mulch now, right, before we were only getting one when we were throwing in the dirt, if we put it in here, we actually get two. I think I got two. <laughs> we got 16. Let's see that. Do I go up to 18? I think we do, right? Yeah, we go up to 18. Let's actually just do another bucket now because I just kind of drove myself nuts doing that. Let's do this. Let's do that. And we need to put this stuff in here. There we go. And uh, I totally messed that up. So let's actually break this. Hopefully it doesn't drop in the void. And uh, yeah, you only get three uses per bucket. You should actually have that cauldron over there, but that's fine. 
that's cool. And uh, we should be able to take this, go ahead and make a strainer. And this one's the same thing, except for this one requires you to use worms as well. And then it's gonna give us food and leather and string. String is a source of, I guess, something that we need right now anyway. Uh, what we need right now, we don't have any worms right now, do we? Uh, I have no way of getting worms, actually. Our apple trees. Do we have any apples right now? <laughs> go over here. We, oh, we didn't do this section at all. Oh, man, we got to go down and do here. Totally forget about that. Uh, we need, uh, I think, five apples to get some fertilizer. That's the only problem. I just, this isn't designed very well. Also, I added a second tree here. So anyway, we can't get apples. I just need to expand this platform a little bit. Because when you get the apples off, they actually fly a little bit. But uh, you want them to have that little gold, gold kind of line on it. But uh, these aren't ready yet. So you may have to wait on that. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, throw our strainer in at least. It won't do anything at this point. But uh, once I have some worms, which uh, we will get from this puppy here. Let's go ahead. I guess it'll start working basically what I'm trying to say. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some of that there. And that's good. I think we need to turn these into slabs and uh, make some composters. So I think that's good. I think that's too many, but too many is fine. I'm gonna do that. Grab three. That's good. And this here is gonna give us one of these worm bins. And uh, yeah, this thing is from Water Strainer. I've actually used this thing before, so I am quite aware about this thing. So this thing has an interface here. If you go ahead and feed it, uh, I think it's pretty limited the amount of stuff that it takes here. So if you go to, I guess, uh, is a worm bin? And this right here, that and go to yeast on it. Only thing to take things like potato, kelp. Beetroot, melon, I think it's all vanilla stuff, right? Yeah, just all vanilla materials. So you're quite limited what you put into it. But if you put one apple in there, you'll get one worm. If you uh, put five in, this bar will fill up with five. So every one is 20%, right? Uh, you'll get a fertilizer, which works as a bone meal, which is actually pretty awesome. We actually have a bone meal source right now. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that right there. Cool. And uh, I might be kind of locked right now. Is there anything else I can get to? Because right now, I guess we could do this one. It wants, no, this is what I'm waiting on, basically. We need some fertilizer to unlock this quest so we can get into the seeds and stuff. Because other than that, we are a little bit locked right down right now. Uh, I guess we go ahead and grab all our quests as well. The mother might have another uh, MBT chest. So let's go ahead and see what's in that one. Uh, let's just put it right here for now. Sweet. Another one with the uh, garden. So we didn't get lucky there. And uh, yeah, I think I am pretty much locked down. One thing it gives you access to as well. I'm not sure why yet. Let's go to open crate. It's giving us access to the open crate really early. And it looks like it's just logs. So we just go ahead and do it like that. This is an item from Britannia. The only thing I can think of is maybe they want you to like, do something like a hopper into an open crate over the water and do some auto crafting that way. Maybe that is kind of their thinking. Um, but uh, I don't see an immediate use. I think it's easier to just throw the things in at this point. So that is something. It looks like uh, we're in a holding pattern right now. I actually need to kind of wait a little bit before we can progress uh, because we need to be able to unlock this stuff down here. So I went ahead and cut down some more trees. I got us enough apples to actually get a piece of fertilizer. So we have that now. So we actually have uh, four extra worms there. So that is awesome. Uh, I keep dropping apples in the void too, which is unfortunate because I'm very hungry. But I think we'll be kind of fixed with food pretty soon. I can actually afford to eat this apple now, so I'm gonna do that. But uh, we should be able to take this stuff and uh, go ahead and just use it on the ground and break that. And uh, there's a quest kind of associated with this, right? So we go back to basic survival, head rate, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and claim that one. Oh, it's gonna give us some more too anyway. It wants us to get uh, one, uh, I guess, wheat seed, melon seed, pumpkin seed, dandelion, and poppy. And uh, we should be able to do that a little quicker because of one of our rewards here. But uh, that is not too bad. We'll see how our RNG goes here in a second if we actually get them all. Anyway, here we go. Uh, oh, wait a second. Why am I only... Do you not get... I wonder if they thought about this in the pack. I'm actually in a swamp. Do you get dandelions in the swamps in vanilla? Dandelions of poppies? Wait a sec. <laughs> I may have an issue just because of where I spawned. Do we have a way of doing that? Okay, they gave us a method. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, throw one of those in here. That's good. Oh, it's going to be random, right? So I can do that. Let's do this. Oh, give me a give me a poppy, man. I don't need any of these. There we go. There we go. We got our poppy. Did we get everything else, though? 
Does not look like we've got our pumpkin seed, right? So if I actually go back and take a look here, yeah, we're missing our pumpkin, uh, pumpkin seed. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can actually hunt that down. We got free bones, which is actually quite helpful because otherwise I'd have to go ahead and uh, probably get a bunch of apples or maybe, I don't know if we can get potatoes yet, can we? Something easy to grow that we could kind of spam out, right? Potatoes, I guess wheat works at a, to a limited extent. Uh, no, we need this organic water first. So we would have to grow apples, I think, at this point to be able to get enough fertilizer or I guess a mud farm. Um, but I'm not really at a point where I want to do that yet because it'd be very jank at this point. Let's go ahead and do that. See if we could actually get ourselves a pumpkin seed. So we have it now. We have all our seeds, which is awesome. We should go ahead and uh, grab this one. And then, yeah, we go ahead and, I guess, and plant all this stuff because I think we're going to need it all kind of move forward. So there's our pumpkin. Go ahead and grab a melon. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab, I guess, a wheat. Let's go ahead and do that. I planted uh, those uh, gardens as well. I, I was curious if they're going to do the spread because usually um, in regular, like, world gen with these gardens, a lot of times they just spread all over your world. Um, I don't know if they spread in this pack. I was curious, so I'm just going to leave them there for a bit and see if they spread naturally. Or we have to just keep making them. Uh, that's good there. I guess we don't have to plant that. We should plant this too. Uh, the hemp from um, Immersive can be used for string. So that's a nice source of that. What did I plant so far? I don't even remember, man. What is this? Da, da. I think uh, I did melon, I did that, and I did wheat. I think that's everything we actually need to plant there. So the main thing we need to go for next, and I don't know if we could do it right now, is this stuff, the organic water. So check that out. Go to organic. Check that out. Organic uh water just water i just i just want organic or yan egg if i could actually spell it so to be able to make this we need one wheat one poppy one dandelion a pumpkin melon seed tropical fish and a lily pad i think the lily pad and the fish and stuff is going to be coming from here so hopefully i get one i did not yet i i noticed another thing too i was wondering um ways of getting the worms a little easier i think i came up with a way of doing that really easy so maybe we'll do that real quick Let's go ahead and grab these here. I think I have some more clay too. Let's go ahead and grab one of them. Uh, I need to smelt one of these down. So let's actually do that. Let's do that net. Awesome. Pretty sure there's an item we can make called a trowel, which we could use to dig up farmland and give us a chance of getting worms, right? So we go to worms right here. Uh, yeah, it shows it right here. Garden trowel, and then yeah, the farmland. 50% chance, which is awesome. 25% just dirt. So I could just spam dirt too, I guess, and just vein mine it. And that'll give me a option to be able to get that, which is uh, pretty cool and uh, should work. So anyway, that'll be a way to kind of force worms and uh, something we're going to have to work on. Uh, the other thing I want to do was this here. There was a quest to do this here, get us a pair of clay shears and uh, just see what other quests we have right now. There's a quest for blunt shears as well. So there's like three different quests for shears, it seems like. So let's go ahead and do this one. This one's probably easier and more durable anyway, but uh, we'll go ahead and grab that one. Actually, I'm not sure which one would be the uh, most durable out of the three of these. But anyway, go ahead and grab this. This will be our clay shear one. Let's do that. That is cool. And I guess the last thing we'll do, actually, before we probably wrap this one up here, is uh, go ahead and use the Amazon tablet, right? Let's go ahead and actually grab this puppy. Let's do that. Now, to make this thing work is, is a little strange, right? It can be a little confusing. So what you do is put down a chest somewhere, um, then shift and right-click it with the actual tablet. This will be where the drone actually drops the item off. But it's also, you also need to take your money and put it in here. Now, when I open it up, you'll see stuff is lit up now. And we could actually buy stuff now. And, uh, yeah, just get the item. Uh, do we have that fluid duplication thing? Because that's really what I want to buy. Duplication? Is it, was, isn't that what it's called? Fluid, maybe? Oh, it's not listed there right now. Because it wants us to buy, yeah, this thing here, the fluid duplication token. And uh, that's going to be eight bucks, which I thought we had enough for. We do. It's just not listed. So this must change daily, like I said. And maybe we'll go ahead and buy that stuff in the next one. So, yeah, we're a little limited right now. This is going to change, I guess, around or rotate. And we'll see different items. And uh, that is actually really cool how that works. Especially that you can buy all these eggs and stuff. A lot of the stuff is probably pretty useful. Especially the uh, bees and stuff. So that is cool. But I think I'm going to go ahead and actually go ahead and uh, wrap this one up here. I think this was a pretty good start. Pretty pumped for this pack. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.